Hello, I'm going to do the Aries Weekly Energy. And this may or may not resonate with you. And if it does not, please feel free to check out the Daily Energy as that may resonate with you more. All right, we are going to pick an Animal Spirit card and see what messages they have for you this week. Oh, look at that. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. That's pretty cool. All right. So maybe there's something you've been wanting to do. Maybe there's someone that you've been wanting to talk to. Whatever that idea is, bring it to life. If there's something you've been wanting to create, make it happen. Whatever that is, whatever's been on your mind that you want to put out there to the universe, bring it to life. Make it happen. Take it from your mind and put it on paper. All right, two of cups. Maybe there's somebody that you want to reach out to. Five of cups, wheel of fortune, ten of swords, five of swords, four of swords, queen of cups, two of wands. So we have a lot of swords energy, a lot of air energy. All right. I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe there's somebody that you've been wanting to reach out to because you've got two of cups here and two of cups here. I feel like there's someone that you want to reach out to. There's somebody that you're interested in. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a coworker. It could be somebody that you're romantically, romantically interested in. It's someone that you want to reach out to and you're no longer afraid to reach out for them and you go for it <laughs> that you go for it that you say what you want to say um, two of wands can mean the beginning of a new relationship um, taking that path moving forward two wands coming together um, Ten of Swords is getting over a difficult time. I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about for a long time. That you've been wanting to reach out to this person. That you've been wanting to make an effort. And you're never going to know what's going to happen unless you actually do it. You have to, you know, actually do that. You have to overcome that. He's stepping on the rock and he's got his sword up in the air. And he's ready to say, I'm moving forward. I'm moving past this. There's some people that were, you know some difficult times behind it that maybe you're talking, saying you couldn't do it. Maybe there's somebody that's saying that you can't do this, that that you are never going to be able to accomplish this. Maybe this is just an idea, um, you know, an opportunity. Um, you know, like, I, like your eel spirit says, bring your ideas to life. Maybe it's a new job venture that you want to do. Maybe you want to start your own YouTube channel. Maybe there's a new business that you want to start. And there's been some people that have been talking behind your back that are saying, oh, you can't do it, you can't do it. And so you've been listening to that. But there's an opportunity for you here. There's an opportunity for you to do that. And you need to take that chance. You need to turn, spin that wheel of fortune and make things happen. Turn things around. All right? Headed into a new cycle. Maybe you need to take a rest because this has been really difficult for you with all this negative energy around you. Take a rest, gather your strength, approach that person, write those ideas down on paper, put a plan in progress, and charge forward. Move forward. Um, don't let people tell you that you can't, that you can't do it. Um,
choose that path, choose that direction. Are you going to listen to what people have to say or are you going to do what you want to do and move forward? You're going to put your sword up in the air and charge forward? Or are you going to let other people drag you down? Reach out to that person. Maybe it's somebody that you are already in a relationship with. Maybe it's somebody that you're already with and you're just disappointed in that person because that person let you down, but you do care about that person. So you want to re reconcile. You want to reach out. You want to start new. You want to start fresh. You want to start over with that person. And you've really thought about that and that's something that you want to do. So you want to reach out to that person. The lovers. Gemini. So it could strongly be about you reaching out to somebody and reconnecting because you do that's what, exactly what I was saying before I flip that over is you reaching out to that person because you feel like this person is, is important and you realize that everyone makes mistakes and maybe this person did something that really hurt you and bothered you maybe they were talking behind your back they did something to hurt you but you decided that yes you want to reach out that yes you want to keep moving forward in this relationship. And as always, you have to do what works best for you and I'm just reading what I'm seeing or feeling in the cards. What the cards are telling me is that there's this person that was hurt by a partner, somebody that was very close to them, but they feel that this person is important enough to work on this relationship and move forward and charge forward and keep going. Knight of Wands, Knights represents actions and the Wands represents um, you know, moving forward, actions moving forward. It could be um, a change of home. Um, it could represent that maybe the two of you need to get in a, uh, a new space, a new area, and you two can work this out. But whatever it is that you feel you need to do for this to work out. Let's see. Um, let's do a romance angel. Let's do a romance angel for this because I feel like it does have to do with a relationship. Because you have the two of cups and you have the lovers. So I definitely feel like it has to do with a relationship. Where you were disappointed. But you feel it's somebody important enough that you want to fight for the relationship. You want to move past this. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is worth waiting for. <coughs> so this is something that has maybe taken some time, may take some more time, but things are changing and things are turning and they are moving forward. And this has been exhausting for you. And maybe you do need to take some time out to gather your strength and then approach this and move forward in a positive, well-rested manner. But this relationship is worth waiting for because this is someone that is very special and important to you. And maybe you have some new ideas about how to work on this relationship that maybe going from this point forward, this is, this is how we should approach things when these type of things happen. You have your ideas on how this should work and give your opinion and express yourself and communicate to this person so that you do not get in this space again in the future. Or if you do, you're able to work through it quicker. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.